And uh, yeah, let's get this set going. Three, two, one, so game go. one, we're going to be starting on FD. So what's interesting is that like Dill has historically like had some trouble versus Tilde's uh, Falco. Now, I'm not necessarily trying to compare the two, but the way Celix has been able to capitalize his hits, uh, I think is going to be, is definitely going to be trouble for Dill. And like, yeah, so far, really e uh, dead even percent, 62, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. We'll see what happens. Ooh, but the rotor arm off the side. I actually missed how we got off on that offstage situation. I do need to tweet out the match, but I'll take a look at this replay. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so yeah, just baited the, the normal getup. Well, not necessarily baited. Just read the normal getup and then uh, got it through. Boom. Oh, my God. That's just unfortunate. Yeah, misses the... Uh, what is it? This is the... Shine, the reflector, uh, on there, and then just like, yeah, scary situation. Like, I mean, that's what happens to spaces in general. Uh, I'm pretty sure, and I, I don't think Dill's opinion has changed on this, uh, that Rob beats all the spaces, uh, in her opinion. Uh, just, you know, this is the things that you're able to exploit on the characters. Uh, boom. Oh, that was a nice attempt. I actually missed the kill. I need to tweet this out. I'm sorry. One man band over here right now. Please subscribe to support me wherever you are. All right, yeah, so let's see what happens. So Steve's on his final stock. Dill's at low percent. Oh, actually, I'll just take a look. What did he do to finish off that final stock? Was it just forward air? Okay, it was Nair, yeah. Why is Nair so strong? It's OD. Anyway, uh, honestly, Steve's, like, this might be too little too late, but this could be, like, uh, proof of, like, some pretty decent adaptation. The fact that, like, you know... Oh my god, what was that gyro doing just now? Dill taking it real careful to recover. And now Steelix actually bringing it down to final stock. Is this too little too late? Who knows? Falco is a movie director. And if you get if you get casted into his movies, you're going to take a lot of damage, potentially. Man, this movement's crazy. Is up throw? No, we're just going to boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Pretty standard. Uh, like, once you're in that situation, like, you know, pretty tough. So, still going to be taking game one, but, like, you know, start off really strong. And thank you, Sweet Baby Zays, uh, for the sub, sending Steelix and Zane energy. I'm personally, I'm rooting for Dill. Give me that sibling bias. I don't give up. But, but uh, yeah, that was insane. Wait, did I actually? Oh, I might have missed the. Okay. I might have missed the, the actual final kill. Commentating throws me off, man. Yeah, that read on the getup. Okay. So Dill takes game one, but there's definitely signs of life for Steelix. So Dill's bands were F uh, for, was Battlefield and Small Battlefield, and Steelix's counter pick is PS2. So PS2, normal ceiling, same as FD. Uh, so able to get a little bit closer to the ceiling with those platforms there. Uh, closest, uh, pretty like closer than normal sides uh, from like ledge to blast zone ratio. But then like going across stage, PS2 is the widest legal stage uh, in any rule set. PS2 is really big. So okay, already got wow, got a crazy edge guard situation. That's a lot to unpack there. Uh, so we're just gonna move on. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Reading normal getup. Reading, still reading a lot of normal getups just to do uh, uh, arm rotor. I think she's doing it like as a test. Like if, if it works, cool. And if it doesn't, you know, like hopefully she's doing it in a situation where it's not too dangerous. 
Anyway, thank you for the resubscription. 12 months from DJP. Yeah, I saw you earlier today. Glad to see you, bro. Hope to see you at Saga. All right, so Dill actually losing her first stock, and okay. Uh, Steel is not really able to build too much of a lead. Uh, I mean, yeah, just spacey things off stage, right? So, uh, but you know, Steelix right now in the driver's seat, holding center and just doing a lot of great harassment. Is this gonna? No. All right. All right. Wow. Fearless with that uh, back off ledge, uh, aggressive down air. All right, Dill turning it around. Don't die. Yeah, I don't think there was any chance, no matter what the DI was. Boom, boom. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. Great reaction by Dill to just, like, forward air the, the Firebird. Okay, this might be it. Nope. I like that. Uh, trying to catch, like, the early come out. Yo, these mix-ups on the berry by Steelix. God damn. Oops. All right. Boom. Yeah. Again, just spacey things. Like, you can't ride too much on the wall uh, on the ledge on PS2 because it's a it's like a floating platform. It doesn't. It's not very thick. Like if we we're on uh, a stage like Battlefield or FD, you would have seen like a much shallower angle to like not rise up as soon, and that could like mix up the timing. But not no dice on PS2. Anyway, uh, Dill lost her second stocks. Now we're on final stocks for both of them. Can Dill clinch this out? It's looking pretty good, but we know, you know, Falco's nuts, so. But Rob is, is a pretty, pretty freaking crazy itself. Uh, boom. All right. Dill likes to do a lot of those uh, gyros like that, like slow down on the. That's it. Never mind. And Dill moves on 2 0 over Steelix. God damn. I have to play an ad like immediately because I know we're going about to go into grands, but uh, the Twitch ad schedule has us by the balls right now. So I'm sorry. We got the replay with the sub in it. Love to see it. Yeah, great job to Steelix uh, taking third at Zeno 240. That was nuts. Okay, that's how that happened. Crazy. I definitely missed that. That gyro toss was really good. Yeah, it was definitely a close though. And I love that emote so much. I think it's a pretty sick emote, personally. We got ourselves our little fist bump. Bubble. And... Phew. All right. 